Gaming Bolt presents 15 Craziest Things Gamers Have Done in Fallout 4. Bethesda's Fallout 4 gets a pretty bad rap for dumbing down numerous aspects of the franchise and delivering what's a pretty atypical experience. However, one of the greatest things about it, and by extension Skyrim, is the community, which has created all manner of awesome content. Whether it's mods, machinima, visual overhauls, or even impressive settlements, there are some pretty crazy things that players have done in Fallout 4. Let's take a look at 15 of them here. The Creation Club When Bethesda announced the Creation Club, delivering what were essentially paid mods to consumers, many people took it rather well. And by well, we mean with the utmost hatred. See Dante took a different approach, however, creating something called the Creation Club, a golf club that spawns random items when it's swung. He insists that it's not a stab at Bethesda or the Creation Club and simply intended as a joke. Sure it's not, see Dante. Sure it's not. Pilgrim. Do you find Deathclaws as intimidating as kittens? Well, then maybe the Pilgrim mod is for you. Created by Looping and Trey M, this mod essentially changes Fallout 4's weather, sounds, and environmental lighting while adding a dynamic music system to create what seems like an ode to the road. To accommodate all of this, there's even a new soundtrack in place. Don't turn the lights off and turn up the sound because things get real spooky real fast. New Vegas Within Fallout New Vegas is perhaps the most beloved modern Fallout game of all time. What would it be like with some new graphical bells and whistles? Modder Sir Bumfrey Diggles is on it, working to bring New Vegas to Fallout 4. Thus far, Good Springs and Prim have been created, and while this is all mostly the setup for a quest mod, as opposed to the full New Vegas experience, Diggles will release the map as a resource for others to continue building on it. Iron Giant We know you cried when watching the Iron Giant. Don't ask us how we know, but we know. So why not bring the 50 foot tall destroyer into Fallout 4 to wreck your foes? Granted, that's pretty much all he does. The killing, we mean. But he looks damn good while doing it. Now if only there was a way to bring him back for real. The best Minutemen castle. The broken down castle for the Minutemen wasn't exactly all that great. Thankfully, the Lord on High managed to use it to build an actual city whose size competes with Diamond City. The overall structure is so large and, oddly enough, so welcoming that it actually makes the Minutemen look good, which is tough when Preston is your number two, but it really does. Back to the 90s. Doom, Quake, Wolfenstein, Duke Nukem. Without these shooters, we probably wouldn't have the first-person shooter genre as we know it today. Cohagen's Revolted is a mod that brings Fallout 4 into that era, inserting a mono-sound, polyprocessing shooter into the main game to play. Download it and head over to the Concord Speakeasy to let it rip and bask in the future of video games. The Breakfast Machine You may or may not like the Contraption Workshop in Fallout 4, but that doesn't mean it hasn't spawned some amazing videos. This creation by Up Is Not Jump combines bowling balls, turbines, ramps, conveyor belt with teddy bears, nukes, explosions, fireworks, and everything in between to provide breakfast. Sort of. No damage playthrough. You may not know this, but Fallout 4 is often considered the dark souls of RPG shooters. Try beating the game without taking damage even once. Go on, just try. t Ronix, a streamer, actually gave it a shot and managed to finish the story without taking any damage, though he did die to a glitch somehow. Sneaking, knowledge of each encounter and whatnot ultimately won the day. Terminal Hunting Several months after the game's release, director Todd Howard noted that there were some things within Fallout 4 that players hadn't found yet. All we knew was that one such secret was on a terminal somewhere. This bird, Levonicus, who explored the entire underwater region to check every single terminal in this game. Despite extensive searching, ultimately nothing was found that we know of. Codsworth Death Machine Codsworth is one of the nicer gentleman robots throughout the game, so of course it makes sense to turn him into a war machine. With the Automatron DLC, players had modified Codsworth into all kinds of horrifying metal behemoths, armed with chainsaws, blasters, lasers, and even skull faces. At least he maintains his dapper attitude throughout, that's always a plus. You're the dog now, man. The Be The Dog mod feels like the perfect follow-up to the statement, yeah, there's a mod for that. You basically play as dog meat, the faithful canine companion in Fallout 4, and bite your way through the game. 
You can't do much more than bite, and oddly enough, dog meat can still be recruited, thus making for the most adorable duo of raider killers in the Commonwealth. Daredevil Season 2 Trailer Up Is Not Jump returns yet again, but this time with a recreation of the Season 2 trailer of Netflix's Daredevil series. Everyone's present, from Freight Castle to Matt Murdock, and many of the key scenes from the trailer are faithfully captured. The best part is that it ultimately didn't disappoint, like Daredevil Season 2. Rocket Jump Ever wanted to rocket jump in Fallout 4 but always feared the collateral damage? Easy Play's Rocket Jump mod fixes that and lets you use rocket launchers to fly everywhere. Even better, if you use something like the Fat Man, you can propel your body to greater heights, just like in real life. But no, seriously, don't do this in real life. The Commonwealth vs. 20,000 Robots You knew it would eventually come to this because who in their right mind could possibly not want it? Cosmic Contrarian unleashed 20,000 synths, assaulttrons, and robots onto the Commonwealth, if for no other reason than to simulate an actual invasion by the Institute on the Wasteland. Stick around to the full video's 16-minute mark because we get to see how the synth army would fare against Liberty Prime, the OP robot of all OP robots in Fallout. Spoiler, not very well. Darth Vader battles rebels and more. But wait! There's more! Cosmic Contrarian decided to create a battle between Rebels and the Empire in Fallout 4, with White Liberty Primes taking the role of AT-ATs, among other odd touches. Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader also eventually make their appearances, because of course they do. Force tricks may or may not actually be at play, but there is lightsaber dueling. Did we mention no loot boxes? What more could you want? And that'll be about it for this one. If you guys like what we're doing at Gaming Vault, please consider subscribing to our channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video. 